Hi there, this is a C-Line SC29, it's a 2006 model, and we're gonna show you the features of this boat, because Sea-Line have done quite a quirky things to adjust the living accommodation on here and the cockpit seating. So we're gonna show you some of the features of this, so stay, please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hi there, I'm Jonathan Parker from Parker Ham's Boat Sales. I'm here today at Port Hamble Marina on the River Hamble to show you Zippy, which is a Sea Line SC29. And um, I'm gonna show you just do a little walkthrough tour. You can see that on this, they've got a nice little bathing platform on here. And it did have some snap davits on fitted here, but they've obviously been removed, but they can be added back on. because it's quite a neat way of getting a tender, a fold up tender on the back here. I do like the way that Sea Line have done this extra bit of teak on the side to getting on and off. It makes life a bit easier to get on and off sideways. And of course, we've got the cleats on the back as well, which help. Bathing ladder with a nice grab handle as well. Um, but being in a 29 foot boat, it can be quite compromised for actually getting around the side decks and things like that. But Sea Line have kind of thought of this. And there's two ways of getting round. You can actually get round on using this small step and the grab handle on the top and then going around. But there's also, when the cover's up, there's a step inside, which is teaked as well, which is quite neat. Fill the diesel up here, but it is actually quite easy to get around. But also, if you notice, you can actually get onto the deck because this bit's lower from the side, from the pontoon, so you don't have to climb onto the back to do it, which is quite neat. And this is a replacement for the S28, the earlier model, which had all canvas all the way around. But as you can see, this is kind of a semi hard top. Um, because it's got a canvas roof which folds all the way back, which we'll show you in a sec. And then it's got small bits of canvas around. You can completely enclose it quite easily. And because it's got a hard top, it makes it a much more substantial looking boat. And an all year round weather boat as well, because with this semi hard top, you get a much larger screen. So much better protection. Um, as you come round onto the decks, they're non-slip, twin wipers, and I say, look, nice big screen. And then a nice anchor locker as well. Um, as sea line normally do, the anchor doesn't hang over the front, it's hidden into the bow there and the electric motor is just here and of course it's all the chain I can see as well. I'm not sure how long it is but it is all chain, there's no rope involved and we can operate it up and down from these points here, so up and down. Um, also I'm sure we can operate it at a helm but I'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, you could have a sun lounger on here, it is big enough for that. Um, I'll just slide down to show you. So there's plenty of room to have a sun lounger here if you wanted to. And there are grab handles as well, which will accommodate that. It's all round. I'm just gonna, you carry on that way. I'm gonna walk around this way because the walkway on this side is exactly the same. And uh, in, again here, there's a step here to step down as well. So you can get all the way around, even grab handles on the back here, a couple of fishing rod holders which aren't standard, they've been added in. And there's a transom shower. And then through into the cockpit area, you can see the little teak step there. And um, quite neatly, the battery switches are there and the gas bottle for the gas hob down below is just there. Um, there's a wet bar, so you've got a sink. Sorry, there's a bit of, I don't know what they are, but they're in there at the moment. Um, hot and cold sink though and a additional fridge which is on at the moment as well with small freezer compartment um, in here that is the fuel shutoffs there's two because we've got twin diesel engines it says twin volvo penta d3 190 horsepower they do put 160 horsepower engines in these as well but this is the higher powered so you get 60 more horsepower between the two engines and which gives it that better performance and, sus and sustainability through the season with weed and things like that. Just the extra power just keeps the boat performing well all the way through the season. Um, we've got this nice L-shaped seating area um, and it's quite generous size table as well and quite a nice um, size. You can make this area bigger. So let me show you, you can get another seat. So if you pop back down the other end for us. Um, we just lift this seat base up at the helm and then this can come back. So now there is another couple of seats around this. You can make it a full U shape. That's not the only thing it does. Um, also the table, I think you have to remove, don't you? So if you remove the table like that, um, these 
are supposed to come out. Um, and then, we won't do it all completely because we'll be here forever. But then that lifts up and then this slides out and that slides up to this position here. Um, and then this is a lounger. So you turn it into a lounger. And then what you can also do is this very cleverly, there's two pins in it. This folds back, and then you've got a headrest for the lounging area. So you can see, um, and then you see the discoloration. So this is actually quite sun bleached, I think. This is probably what the original color would have been a nice sort of sort of off white color. It's kind of gone this, this other color throughout. So I'm not quite sure. If it was me, I'd probably look at reupholstering, although there is a few splits in the upholstery, generally in fairly good condition, but I think this would really benefit from an uplift from a reupholster. Let me just pop this back down, put the table on. I don't want to force these out. Sometimes they do get a bit stuck, but uh, would you want to be responsible for anything going on there? Um, engine access is under the hatch here. Um, because the D3 engines are quite small in stature compared to the larger D4s, there's a lot of room in that engine bay as well. So you can store stuff down there if you wanted to. There's plenty of rooms in front of the engines. Very easy to work on the engines as well. Um, as you can see, the roof is open. And when it is open, you get this really open boat feel. So it does feel like a, um, a fully open boat, even though it can be enclosed almost entirely. You can see the little canvases here and then the windscreen goes through and there are nice down lights i kind of like the molded lighting nice touch couple of speakers out here as well and then we have the helm position again helm for two um, nice footrest at the bottom um, there's access in here for something i'm not sure what that is oh it's a step oh there you go so it's a, an additional step so you can stand and then look out if you want to have a bit more visibility if you're coming into berthing. Um, or obviously you can sit down and use it as a step if you want, get rid of it, you can do what you like. Um, the D3 engines normally come with um, non-electronic controls, so they're cable shift, um, which the D3s have always had, but you can get an, a... Um, um, you can get an additional system which turns them into um, fly-by-wire controls, which this has. So this has got EDC controls, so they're not cable controls, they're fly-by-wire, um, which is a nice addition to this because it feels like um, the modern systems that you get, but in a boat that normally would have quite clunky controls, it makes it nice and light. Uh, up here you can see we have the Raymarines, very original, so this would have been original to 2006 E80. There is an analog radar as well that goes with it. And, but we've also got autopilot built into here and obviously depth and speed here as well, as well as your usual array of engine gauges. And we can control the windlass from here as well. The SC29 as well it is an option to have a bow thruster. This one does have it. So this has the bow thruster and the twin engines, which will make the boat very uh, maneuverable as well. So it'll be a nice maneuverable boat, easy to get in and out, especially with the benefit of the bow thruster. There's an additional seat over here. I quite like the seat, I'm gonna take my shoes off now, because this is either extra seating, so for another three people. So it's actually quite nice if you are traveling, you can have two there and three here, so we can all be very sociable um, when the captain is driving. And there are additional forward facing seats as well. So you can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight people in this vicinity, just um, chatting and joking. I don't know many jokes, so I won't be that person doing that. Um, but this is also a lounge. So again, very comfortable, um, nice and generous in space as well. So I've got my legs fully out and uh, it's actually quite a comfortable space, especially with the roof open. Um, with the sunshine it's lovely but if you do want to enclose the roof it's very easy um, it's a manual roof so there's no electric motors or mechanisms and as you can see i can just do it with one finger all the way down and then you just latch it off just like that and now we're enclosed so we've got all the protection from the weather the side covers are on so if the weather turns it's very quick to convert it back into a solid roof well semi-solid but you know what i mean well we're going to go down below now 
Um, obviously sliding clear door. Um, this is just stuff that's been put on, I guess, for glare. You do get a bit of glare in the windscreen. So you tend to find that if you have light tops, um, it will reflect in the windscreen. So people tend to put this on. I quite like to wrap this. I've had up the same one. I've got a, quite an old Fairline, and I've actually wrapped mine in a darker colour to get rid of that because it's a flybridge. But I quite like to drive it down below, so I get the same thing. But they've obviously put this on here for now. The thing I like about the SC29, it's a good looking boat. It's quite a modern feel boat as well. But being 2006, it is 18 years old, and um, so there are things you can do to uplift the design. But I think when you look down here, it does actually look very modern. So this worktop is a very modern worktop. Got the finials around the side so things don't slide off, which you kind of don't have on the more, you know, the new boats now. Um, there's a nice bit of storage back here so you can store things behind here. And again, they're not gonna be rolling around when you're at sea. There's a gas oven. There's a gas hob, which very neatly has this cover. Um, so you can double it as worktop, extra worktop space if you want to. And then we have a twin sink. So a large and a side sink as well. Obviously hot and cold water, mains power here as well. Storage all the way along here. Um, and then there's an additional fridge envelope. And sea line are quite good. They'll have, there's a nice drawer for cutlery. There is um, like little side cupboards. There's like put a bit of storage wherever they can. Even in the step, there's a bit of storage as well. And then you're into this open bow area. Sea line are very good on this sort of size of boat for space. Um, they make their bows a bit wider than most others in this sort of class. So you actually get the benefit of the width. I'll go around this way. Of the width of the boat. So if you look at me now, actually this is a large area. So it's quite hard to see on pictures, but when we actually sit down here, it's a very large circular area. And to prove it, look, you can get like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven adults around this table. Um, so I think in its class, it offers the most generous amount of space. There's actually two overhead hatches for light to come in. You can see we've got the lights on down here as well. We've also got the side windows. Um, it is getting sort of dusk now, so it's about nearly five o'clock in the evening and we're just into October now. So we are doing this beginning of October, 2024. So this boat's quite new to us. And um, this can also be converted into a bed. So you can drop this table down, there's infill cushions, and this would probably be um, your main bedroom if you wanted to. Um, I quite like the idea of this because you've got like the semi hard top, that's almost your living area upstairs. This is like your suite down here. Um, you've got access to the galley and access to the heads as well. There's a television just up on the top there, um, which you can easily watch from down here as well. And there's sort of side storage. So this is actually, this isn't a shelf. You go right the way down and there's actually quite low storage in there. Um, also, um, there's, a, there's a hatch under there as well. And um, there's little storage areas dotted around. There's this thing here, which I've no idea what it is. What is that? An inverter remote. So that's, so it looks like it's got an inverter built into here. And um, on the description on the advert, it will say well, the size of it. And then we have like additional things like there's a, Bit of access to there and it's actually part of the infill cushions are in there as well which again just shows how big that cupboard is for the infill cushion to be in there there's two doors here now um, this does have webasto diesel heating as well so it's got a newer controller actually it would have had that probably originally and this is a much newer so this still is current so uh, so it's had a newer controller fitted just give more modern feel you've got the switches there so you've got your mains, then all your 12 volt system, and it's telling you it's monitoring the batteries for you constantly up here. And then you've got the into the door into the heads. This is um, an electric toilet, which um, will go into a holding tank, electric flush, freshwater flush toilet. So again, for 2006 boats, quite rare, especially on a small boat, to get a freshwater flush toilet system. And this has got it. So, and that's what everybody kind of wants now, because you don't get the toilet smell on here. So when you first flush, you don't get that sound of toilet smell. So it's very nice. Um, I do like the fact that if you have a look inside, I like the, the worktop for the sink. I like this light in the corner. It's quite smart. Nice mirror across things. Hello. 
Um, and then you've got the overhead shower. So this turns into a wet room as well. Um, and obviously you've got the down lights. So it is a nice, neat face. But also though, it is Jack and Jill. So if you were to go into there, I can exit the toilet into the aft cabin. Here we are. And, uh, and of course we've got a mirror here with um, obviously a, a, a makeup, so you can do like your makeup and things in here. I've already done mine, so I don't need to do it again. Um, there's a, a lovely additional light switch here, which lights up um, little bits as well as, look, these shelves light up. It's quite neat, quite like that. Um, and then even the cupboard lights up inside. And there's a hanging wardrobe as well. And then we're down into the rear cabin. Um, it is being used as a bit of storage down the ends, um, which you can see. And it's additional thing. I think there might be a, normally it's a paddle board somewhere. So I think there might be a paddle board under there. Um, but of course, this is big enough because this is pretty much the size of a king size bed down here. And the depth is more than six foot. So I'll be able to lie down fully down here if it wasn't for the storage. Um, but um, again, for this sort of class of boat, it's quite rare you can actually sit up in these aft cabins. So they've actually purposely made the ceiling high enough that you can sit up here and you can have a cup of coffee because a lot of these type of boats, you can't have a cup of coffee down here because you've got nowhere to put it. But there's a big shelf behind here, look. There's a nice big shelf. Um, there's even a window there and a window on the front as well, as well as this nice lighting and nice curtains as well. Uh, so if you are you know, a couple using the boat, then you would get very used to sleeping down under here. And then that you can leave alone and you can just use that for cosy evenings when you have a takeaway or something down below. Um, and then you can have your breakfast there as well, your breakfast um, and you know, in, in drinks and things up there. Um, so this is a nice area to sleep in, but also very useful if you do just want to use storage. And of course, very good if you've got a family as well, because a couple of people will be very comfortable sleeping down here. All right, let's pop ourselves out. And pop out here. Um, but the Sea Line SC29 is quite a versatile boat. You can just see that split in there. Look. So that it's quite a versatile boat. This boat is, um, it needs some little bits doing. It's a little bit rough around the edges, but I think you can see from the accommodation down side, it's in lovely condition and a very modern feeling boat. And with a few upgrades, this would look 10 years newer than it actually is as well, even though it's quite a nice replacement for the S28 in the form of styling. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, and if you want to see this boat for uh, more detail, then come and look at our website, park-adams.co.uk. And you can come and arrange to have a viewing of this boat as well. It is available for sale right now. And, um, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel the only thing I didn't mention, I think, is the engines have done 328 hours. Yeah, 325 hours. It's quite important, because if you work that out, actually, the boat's 18 years old. It's only done 325 hours. So it's a very low hour engine boat. And again, that's one of the benefits of um, this boat as well. So a very versatile boat, low engine, not much usage, needs a few upgrades, which most boats do of this age, but it can be a really smart boat. So. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and come and see us at parker-adams.co.uk. But for now, I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.